Hello, my name is Eugene Price from Price Energy Services. Um, today I'm delighted to announce we are launching a carbon footprint calculator on our website that will estimate your business carbon footprint and send you an email with the details. So visit our website at priceenergyservices.com and you can be directed to our carbon footprint calculator. And what our calculator will include is greenhouse gas scope one emissions, natural gas, diesel fuel, petrol fuel, scope two emissions, electricity and electric vehicles, and scope three, electricity losses, water use in and out of your business, air travel and your suppliers. The calculator actually works. So to find our carbon calculator, simply open Google, go to Bryce Energy Services website. Obviously I have a quick link. This is our home page. So please dive in and have a a good read about our services and those of our partners and I also highly recommend checking out our YouTube channel for lots of training videos. Anyway the carbon calculator so back to the top of the screen click on the button carbon calculator and this takes you to our carbon footprint calculator and it is five pages but it should take about five minutes as we'll work through the example um what i'll do is i'll just for the benefit of this recording i'll zoom in just so um you have a better idea of um, what i'm doing so I won't go into much detail about scope one, scope two and scope three. Please refer to some of my training videos. Sufficient to say that when you are describing your carbon footprint, uh, a bluffer would use the phrases scope one, scope two and scope three. Scope one being those emissions that your business are directly responsible for. Scope two effectively electricity usage by your business and scope three indirect emissions so those emissions that your business is indirectly responsible for primarily from suppliers and services provided by other businesses for whom your scope three is their scope one and scope two so let's plow into this burning of natural gas um, if you have a gas boiler, um, heat water with gas, any sort of gas, I should say prior to commencing this, it would be worthwhile gathering your gas bill for the year, your electricity bill for the year, um, any information about diesel and petrol use within your business. Also, your water bill would be useful. So I'm just going to apply through this, um, the formatting is basically wherever you see an enter, you need to enter a number. So enter your business gas consumption in kilowatt hours. So you'll get this from your gas bill. So I'm just gonna say uh, your average home is about 12,000. So I'm gonna say 1200 uh, or sorry, 120,000 and this uses the conversion factor, so you don't need to enter that. And this comes up with a result of uh, 120,000 kilowatt hours equals 21 tons. Now I've seen businesses with an awful lot more gas usage, but we'll just stick to that. Burning of diesel in vehicles for business. So let's assume you have two vans, each using about 50 liters a week, 52 weeks. So five, five, 
uh, let's say 5,000 liters a year. So uh, five five is 25, two five fifty times. So 5,000 liters. Burning of petrol in vehicles for business. So let's say you have one car that you run around in, similarly to working out the diesel, let's say 2,500 liters per year. So 50 liters a week, 50, 50 weeks a year. And again, using uh, government greenhouse gas conversion protocols, that petrol is about 5.8 tons of CO2 equivalent. So I've only used three factors here. The main factor missing would be potentially F gases, LPG, other quite a number of other uh, minor factors. But for most businesses, that would cover, I'd say, 80% of your scope one. So we get 41 tons. Next. So now we're on to greenhouse gas protocol scope two emissions. And these are from electricity. So your electricity bill, any other supplied heat. So that could be if you're on a district heating system or electric vehicles that are used for business use. and. That's actually a new one um, it, this year. Main supply electricity, enter your business electricity consumption in kilowatt hours. I'm just gonna say 100,000. I'm gonna not to that. So 100,000 electricity kilograms, 0.2. So 100,000 kilowatt hours is 21 tons scope two for electricity. Electric vehicles charging. Now, this number is entered in kilometers driven. So if you have an electric vehicle that is charged elsewhere, i.e. it's not included in your mains electricity. So if you have an electric charger plugged in at work, it should be included in this consumption number. But if you have electric vehicles that are charged offsite or in people's homes that are used for business, then ideally you should use the actual kilowatt hours. But if you just have the number of kilometers driven, so I'm going to say in a, in a year, um, 7,500 kilometers, which perhaps a bit low and using again, conversion factors from UK government, that's 0.377 tons. Um, maybe just add a, 17, make it look a bit more chunky. Maybe you have two cars. So total greenhouse gas emissions from your business scope two, then become 22 tons. So predominantly your scope two is your carbon emissions from the electricity that you use at work. Very simple, enter, enter total, next. So now we're into scope three emissions. Again, these are emissions your business are indirectly responsible for. So the first number we have is again, electricity, but it's, it's a locked field. So that is the number that you entered in scope two for electricity. These emissions are the responsibility of national grid and your local distribution company. So, Energy, electricity is effectively lost between the generator and your business. And that's what that figure is. So it's lost in resistive transmission losses, uh, technical, but um, considering the other one was 22, about maybe 10% less. Mains water in and out of your business. So surprising for some but water has a carbon impact so a typical house i think maybe uses a thousand cu cubic meter, uh, meters a year um let's say a business uses 2500 so again check from your water bill i'm making here big assumption that the, the water go that goes in goes out which is how most water is billed um, 
do check your water bill because it may not be applicable for some businesses. Depends how you use water. And so mains water in kilograms is 0.149 per cube. Mains water out, so that gives, excuse me, mains water in emission of 0.373, simply 2500 multiplied by that. Wastewater is 0.272, so wastewater has almost double the carbon impact as clean water in, simply because wastewater needs to be treated more. And wastewater out, 0.68 tonnes. I've added short haul flights within Europe. So enter the total kilometers um, there and back again. So if you're undertaking short haul business travel, most these days, I guess, most business travel is in economy, but it's a slightly higher rate for business class. Um, let's assume 5,000 kilometers. It's probably a couple of flights, London, Berlin, or something like that. So this is the distance between the airports, um, air travel short haul, and 5,000 kilometers is 0.7. Uh, I might increase that a bit. Let's say there's a lot of flying. So 1,500, or excuse me, 15,000 kilometers, 2.65 tons CO2. So that gives us a total greenhouse gas emissions scope three, 5.1 for those items. Now, a significant part of scope three is your suppliers. And very difficult to determine. Um, you need to start asking your suppliers what their carbon footprint is. But just to get um, a guesstimate, what I've done is I've taken the figure, the total carbon footprint that we've calculated so far at 68, and I've put a slider in here to estimate suppliers. And what a rule of thumb, very vague, the percentage of turnover associated with goods and services that we haven't already included. So for example, if you're a haulage company and have very large diesel usage, then you'd probably be at the lower end of the scale. But if you're effectively buying and selling services whereby your turnover is pri primarily against goods in. So if you're a manufacturer buying in lots of raw materials and then processing them, then chances are you're at slightly higher end of the scale. And what you can see here is the tonnage associated with those suppliers. And if your total tonnage so far that we've calculated is 68, suppliers could easily be half of your carbon footprint. So I'm gonna set it to half, but do think about the relative ratio of goods and services into your business compared, and the costs of that, compared to the figures we've entered so far for electricity, fuel, um, flights, water, etc. So next, and that's it. So summarizing, greenhouse gas scope one, total we have 41 tons, 41.35. Electricity, scope two, we have 22 tonnes. And scope three, indirect emissions, we have 73 tonnes. The vast bulk is suppliers at 68 tonnes. So carbon footprint summary, grand total 137.33 tonnes of CO2 equivalent. And again, I have a training video, please refer to, to understand what tons CO2 equivalent actually is. So if you'd like a, a copy of this, send to your email. Um, I'll use um, an example, info at briceenergyservices.com. A copy will be sent to Bryce Energy Services, except terms and conditions, so that's for GDPR. Um, if you wish data reference, so 
um, I'll say example for video and submit. So it takes you to another page on our website. So I'll just drop back to that. I'll just pause and wait for that email to pop in. So this is the email you should receive. And again, the summary of the scope one, scope two, scope three your total carbon emissions and the reference example for video. So that was how the calculator works. Fairly straightforward and I hope you uh, use it fairly quick. So I hope you enjoyed that short presentation. Please contact us on info at priceenergyservices.com Feel free to drop an email, visit our website, um, encourage everybody to look at our YouTube channel for further training videos on greenhouse gas emissions, what a ton of carbon dioxide actually is, and ultimately how you can reduce your carbon footprint. So please use the calculator, hope you enjoy it, drop your comments, and uh, thank you very much.